get an encore. What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam from FWCI etc. And today is a reaction to something that I am very, very excited for. Season 2 is just around the corner. Of course I'm talking about The Boys. Probably my favourite show that's come out last year. I slept on it for a couple of months and when I finally got around to watching it, I, I loved it. I've already watched the whole first season twice. I think it's awesome. I've seen a few very mild spoilers from the comics, and as soon as I saw those, I just... I shied off the comics completely, because I didn't want to know anything else that was going to happen, because I'm enjoying the TV show so much, but... I'm kind of ho um, uh, waiting for the TV show to finish so I can go and read the comics, because the comics sound like they're way, <laughs> way more over the top, so... Um, uh, but let's have a look. Today I'm looking at the Honest trailer for Season 1 of The Boys, from The Boys over at Screen Junkies. Um, fantastic uh, channel, I'm sure you guys don't need me to tell you that, but definitely uh, shout out to Screen Junkies because I think what they do is awesome, but um, I, I love their Honest trailers, I think they're all pretty hilarious, and this is a really good one that I didn't realise they haven't done yet, so um, let's have a look, and for the purpose of synchronising, 3, 2, 1, go. Three, two, one, go. Amazon Studios invites you to enter the most brutal, harsh, unforgiving world since Amazon's warehouses in <laughs> The Boys. See what the DC Universe would look like if Zack Snyder never had to take a studio note. The grandchildren got incinerated. Lamplighter had burnt them alive so thoroughly, there weren't even teeth left. Where Superman is a stone-cold psychopath, yeah. Wonder Woman is a jaded alcoholic, The Flash is a junkie who's lost his edge, <laughs> Aquaman is a sexual predator, <laughs> Martian Manhunter is a creepy perv, Batman is pretty much the same, and they all work for a company with the outward-facing cheerful polish of Disney, but the internal money-hungry killer instinct of also Disney. Sequel after sequel. <laughs> it's not wrong. Shoes of Huey. He's a pansy. Bill Hader's son. Line of pansies. You don't have the fight. You never have. Neither do I. Who's <laughs> cultivated the power to back out of literally everything? I don't want to go to a second location with you. Mm. I don't think I can do this. Smart. I need to go home. No. Okay. No. No, I can't. Cover him. No, I don't. I don't. I can't do this. No, 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 no. no. I can't do this. I can't do this. Coming out. But Huey <laughs> will go full Batman when they kill off his Robin <laughs> and join the boys a vigilante group dedicated to keeping superheroes in line and by in line we mean dead mm. featuring this extremely the invisible cat you don't stir you fold now that's what makes them spongy this extremely into his girlfriend guy because if you watch that episode of Downton Abbey then I'm going to be going behind and we're not going to be able to binge watch together you know I'd much rather be at home rubbing on them toes baby I just oh, you're right you're right mother's milk <laughs> this extremely MacGuffin girl and this cockney a-hole who everyone is extremely unhappy to see congrats on your promotion Susan what are you doing here I thought we agreed that you were never going to come out here means you brought that 40,000 you owe me I mean, why else would you show your face <laughs> around here? Oh, hell no. The f do you want? You're like the f***ing mold on my laundry room tiles. You scrape it off, <laughs> it comes right back. It's an ache. It's true. It's very true. I think of it, no one's happy to see each other on the show. I guess friendship just isn't edgy enough. <laughs> Speaking of edge. Prepare for a show oh. that feels like it was written by these two. Sneaks up on the deep. And the boom goes it down. Makes a shark bite translucent off. That isn't content with just showing how superheroes would use their powers for evil, but gives them humanizing backstories in a cheap ploy for sympathy. Like how this disgraced white collar criminal has a kid. Remember your old man? Or how this sexual deviant has a kid. He spends most of his free time with his son. <laughs> He's got a son? Or how this mass murderer <laughs> has a kid. <laughs> or how this murdering <laughs> corporate officer. You get the point. Yeah. I dare season two has a literal Nazi join the team. But don't worry. I'm sure she wants to have kids someday. <laughs> but in the darkness, there is Starlight, the newest hero in town, with the power to cut down the VFX budget by blinding the entire screen. Watch her follow the girl in her first semester of college hero's journey. Show us your 
and grow from unbelievably wide-eyed and naive to woke AF agnostic renegade in the span of two months. Mm. I'm done pretending. <laughs> Only to find that her activism can be co-opted, repackaged, and sold by the very forces she was fighting against. Watch her stand up. Oh, I love this show so much. For all of us, Citizen Starlight. That's so Coming fucked up. Fall. This is why capitalism remains undefeated, y'all. So enjoy season one of a show that's able to address everything from corporate greed to the Me Too movement with everything from laser babies. That was diabolical. <laughs> finger blasting a gill hole. Ah, no. Why are you showing that? The unsettling truth of our superhero obsessed culture. We're not suspending disbelief when we watch our heroes soar. We're suspending disbelief that they wouldn't burn us all to the ground. You say the f <laughs> 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 Starring New Zealand Jack Sparrow, Sammy. Louis C.K. No. Let's go to the couch, have a nice warm pizza roll, and wait for this all to blow over. The IT Cowed, American Psycho, <laughs> Twilight Sparkle, Adventures in Super Babysitting, O.J. Sprinson, <laughs> the AA Team, the Seventh Set, <laughs> and Mantis for season two. <laughs> no. A few more. I don't think it's Morgan Freeman up there or anything, but... By ourselves. Wait, he's mother's milk? That's gotta be a mistake, right? <laughs> Shouldn't she... Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Picked it for you. The year 2020. I mean, just when you think this sh can't get any more horrible. Nah, don't worry. Get a little more horrible. <laughs> and Exposition News. Live whenever it's convenient. Allowing superheroes international defense if more people were armed maybe i wouldn't have to say that's fine a train versus shockwave the race of the century starlight shocking the christian community social media is still buzzing about her controversial speech i believe that our encounter was consensual what i want to know who's that dude that stuck his in her face she should that in the hole okay <laughs> all super cops are back Better get the joke at the end. Someone to tease as a big villain for the second season of your prestige TV show, you call Giancarlo Esposito. Want to? All right, that was awesome as always. That's just got me even more geared up to watch the boys uh, when they when the new season comes out in a few days' time. Um, such an awesome, awesome show. Um, you probably saw me cringe quite heavily when The Deep was getting, uh, uh, put in the comments what you would call whatever happens to The Deep in this movie. Uh, that was disturbing. That was really disturbing. They wanted me to feel sorry for that character at that point. I did because that was just, uh, that was so uncomfortable to watch. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of a weird character. He had some moments where he was a bit corny, but other parts of it I found really interesting. Like how they uh, relocate him to, uh, is it Ohio? Like right in the middle of America where there's no fucking water? Like, come on. Um, so uh, I'm I'm super pumped for the season two of The Boys, which is uh, yeah, right around the corner. Uh, let me know in the comments. You've got, have you guys seen The Boys? Did you like it? Are you ready for season two? Um, let us know what you thought about the Honest trailer. Give Screen Junkie some love as well. And uh, as always, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.